Example 4, we're looking at complex conjugates in the complex plane. So we're going to plot z equals negative 3 plus i and its complex conjugates in the complex plane. Then we're going to write the conjugate as a complex number. So when we're writing the complex conjugate, what this is is just a reflection in the real axis. And remember, we're calling our real axis our x-axis. So let's try this. We're going to plot z equals negative 3 plus i. So this is our real, and this is our imaginary. And so left 3 up 1. And so this is negative 3, 1. So the reflection across is going to be here at negative 3, negative 1. So therefore, the complex conjugate is negative 3 minus i. It is going to ask you to graph these, so or pick the right graph. So try this out. So we're going to plot 2 minus 3i and its complex conjugate in the complex plane, but write the conjugate as a complex number. So you should have gotten this graph, and then the reflection is 2, 3, so therefore the complex conjugate is 2 plus 3i. Now we're going to let a, b, and st be points on a complex plane. So let a, b, and st be points on a complex plane. And so the difference of corresponding complex numbers will be s plus ti minus a plus bi is going to be, we rewrite it, so we have our horizontal component, s minus a plus the vertical component, t minus bi. So the modulus of the difference is s minus a plus t minus b is, oh, t minus b i, and that's the absolute value, is this. It's going to be s minus a squared plus t minus b squared. Okay, so we're just trying to find the distance, and so we're using this formula, which is essentially our distance formula. So the distance formula in the complex plane, the distance d between the points a, b, and s, t in the complex plane is this, and I gave that to you earlier. The distance equals the square root of s minus a squared plus t minus b squared, and then that also gives us our magnitude, um, subtracting the magnitudes. So find the distance in the complex plane, find the distance between 2 plus 3i and 5 minus 2i in the complex plane. So this is going to be distance equals the square root of 2 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus a minus 2 and then squared. So this is going to be the distance equals negative 3 squared plus 5 squared, which is going to be the square root of 9 plus 25, or that is going to be the square root of 34. And then if you have to use the calculator to find the decimal, 5.83 units. Although I tend to like this better. So try this example. Find the distance between 5 minus 4i and 6 plus 5a, 5i in the complex plane. Okay, if you tried this out, you would find that the distance is square root of 82, or 2 root 21, or approximately 9.06 units. So the last thing we're going to do is the midpoint formula in the complex plane. So the midpoint of the line segment joining the points a, b, and st in the complex plane is the midpoint, which is a plus s over 2 and b plus t over 2. So the horizontal a and then the vertical b and t. Okay, and dividing it by 2. So find the midpoint in the complex plane, and let's try it with this example. So we're going to do 4 plus 2 over 2, and then we'll do the negative 3i, or negative 3, plus 2 over 2 to solve. And so this is going to be 6 over 2, which is 3, and then negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 half. Okay, so that is the midpoint. Try this example here. Find the midpoint of the line segment joining the points corresponding to 2 plus i and 5 minus 5i in the complex plane. So in this one, you should have found that the answer was 7 halves and negative 2.